Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add the Python interpreter in your Visual Studio Code editor. So right now, uh, as you can see, Visual Studio Code is uh, open. And right now, there is no uh, Python interpreter configured in Visual Studio Code. So to start with, you need to go to the extensions here. So just click on this extensions icon. And then in the search box, just search for Python here. And then you will see few popular Python extensions. Just select the most popular extension for Python, which is at the top, which is by Microsoft itself. So Microsoft is also the creator of Visual Studio Code, right? So we can uh, uh, trust this extension. Also, this extension has been downloaded around 115 million times, right? So it's the most popular extension. Click on install to install it. And once this extension is installed, you will see this kind of window here, which says create a Python file. So you can create a Python file uh, by clicking on this button, but we will get to this uh, point a little bit later. But once this extension is installed, you will see disable, uninstall, and switch to pre-release version options here, right? So once this extension is installed, just close this uh, window and then click on this Explorer icon. And here open any folder and let's create a very simple Python script. I'm going to name my script as test.py here. And Visual Studio Code will recognize that you have created a Python file. And then you can also see at the bottom here, if you have installed the Python extension properly, then you will see this Python interpreter at the bottom of your Visual Studio Code editor, right? So this is the Python interpreter, which will be uh, available for your Python script. So for now, I can just write uh, print, and then in the parentheses, I can just write hello space world here. And then I can save this file. And to run this file, I can just uh, open my terminal from here. So just click on terminal and then new terminal. And from here, it opens different kind of terminals, right? So the default terminal in my case is uh, PowerShell but you can also open command prompt and other configured terminals on your uh, Windows operating system. So let me open the command prompt terminal from here. And then I can just write Python and the name of the file, which is test.py and then press enter, which will print hello world. So as I said, this is the interpreter, which is added to your Visual Studio Code editor. Now, if you want to create the virtual environment, and that is the proper way of working with your Python project, and I will also recommend you to uh, just use these kind of virtual environments when you work with larger project with Python. And to create a virtual environment, what you need to do is you just need to press Command Shift P on your keyboard, which is going to open this kind of uh, palette here. And here just type Python colon, and then you will see all these options related to Python. These options are available after you have installed the Python extension, right? So here you can uh, see this option, which says create environment. So you can just write uh, create here and you will see all the associated option for create and we are interested in create environment option. So click on create environment and then choose the environment. So here I can choose the VNV here. So click on VNV and then you will see all the installed Python installation on your Windows operating system. So the prerequisite is obviously you need to have Python installed on your Windows operating system. Otherwise, this doesn't work, right? If you don't know how to install Python, I have already created uh, many videos about it. I will put the link of that video in the description. So select 
the version of Python which you uh, see here. I only have one so I'm going to select this option and once I do that you can see it's creating the environment for me and I just need to wait for a few seconds and you can also see that this adds this .vn folder in my uh, Python directory and this is because uh, we are creating the virtual environment and it creates this uh, directory in my project folder right and after a few seconds I can see uh, this notification that uh, the following environment is selected right now once this environment is created once again you can click on this uh, option here which says python and then the version here now you can see uh, multiple options here one is the global uh, python instance and other is the python version with your virtual environment right so uh, we have selected this python with virtual environment if you want to uh, just run your script with the global python you can also select that from here okay so this is how you can uh, add the python interpreter in your visual studio code editor i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video